Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at a really good problem applying the product rule with trig functions to calculate a second derivative. Now, the first application of the product rule is really straightforward. So let's go through that. We have our function as e to the x times cosine of x. So we'll identify the pieces f of x as e to the x and g of x as cosine of x. The two derivatives here are simple. f prime, that comes out to e to the x, and the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. All right, next we're gonna combine the pieces back together using the product rule. So we'll get y prime, the first derivative, and that comes out to f prime times g, e to the x times cosine of x. And then we add to that f times g prime, e to the x times negative sine of x. All right, now you might be comfortable doing this work all together and simplifying as you go. Let's go ahead and simplify now. We're gonna change that sign in the middle here to a negative. We'll rewrite this as e to the x times cosine of x, but now minus e to the x times sine of x. And that's the first derivative, y prime. Now we wanna go one more derivative. The question wants us to find a second derivative y double prime, so we're gonna differentiate this using the product rule again, but notice e to the x times cosine of x, that's a product, we'd be applying the product rule there. But we have another product here, e to the x times sine of x. We'd be applying the product rule twice to differentiate in each of those terms. Now you can do that, but I always like to tell my students, see if you can be lazy. Rather than apply the product rule twice, see if you can rewrite this to apply the product rule once. And notice what we can do, a very common technique or step when you have exponential functions, because they differentiate to themselves, you can just factor e to the x out. So if we factor the exponential function out, we'll be left with in parentheses cosine of x minus sine of x. And at that point, we only apply the product rule once because we have e to the x times this part in parentheses. We're only multiplying once there between those terms or factors. All right, from here, it's straightforward. We're gonna apply divide and conquer again. Let's go ahead and identify the pieces. We'll call f e to the x, and now the part in parentheses will be g of x. So let's put that off to the side right next to that. So we're gonna say f is e to the x, and now g of x. That's the other factor here, cosine of x minus sine of x. All right, and we're gonna take our time calculating the derivative and finding g prime. f prime is again, for the second application of the product rule, that's still e to the x but g prime is a little bit more work. All right, take your time with this. The derivative of cosine of x, that's negative sine of x. But be careful, sine of x, that differentiates to cosine of x. The minus or negative there, think of that as a constant multiple. So we get there minus cosine of x when we differentiate the second part there, minus sine of x. All right, now we combine the pieces for this application of the product rule, and that's gonna allow us to find y double prime. All right, let's go ahead and put the pieces together, now referring to this set of f, g, f prime, and g prime. That's our second uh, application of divide and conquer here. All right, take your time, first part, it's gonna be f prime e to the x 
times g, which we have that as cosine of x minus sine of x. And then we add to that f times g prime. So e to the x. Use a set of parentheses, and that's f times g prime. Inside the parentheses, we have negative sine of x minus cosine of x. All right, and that's all the work in applying the product rule. That's all the calculus for this question. The rest of it is now just simplifying this. So like above, in the first derivative, where we noticed e to the x was a factor in both parts there. We factor that out. Notice here we can again factor out e to the x. All right, and what we're going to have inside are basically the other parts inside parentheses. So we have cosine of x minus sine of x. All right, you might have factored a negative out from there already, but I didn't, so we have a plus. The other parts inside these parentheses or brackets, after factoring out e to the x, we'll be left with minus sine of x, and then minus cosine of x. And now this will simplify nicely inside those parentheses or brackets. Notice the cosine terms subtract out, and the sine terms, they're like terms, they don't cancel. Negative sine of x minus sine of x, we'll just write that as minus 2 sine of x. So we have our exponential factor out front. And inside the parentheses or brackets, we get negative 2 times sine of x. And there we go. It's not wrong to leave your answer like this, but probably a little bit more standard to rewrite this without those extra parentheses or brackets. We'll just switch the order of multiplication there and we'll bring the negative 2 out front and write this as negative 2 times e to the x times sine of x. And that's a nice clean looking simplified answer for our second derivative. And there we go. So here, straightforward to apply the product rule, but what made all the difference in calculating the second derivative was this step right here, where we factored out e to the x. If you didn't do that, you can still get the correct answer for the second derivative, but you'd be applying the product rule twice. Once to this term, and the product rule again to that term. Now, if you're up for the challenge to really build your skills, and if you're planning to do well in your Calculus 1 course, actually try that here. We have a minus sign, so put a set of parentheses around that, and then apply the product rule inside those parentheses. Don't forget to apply the product rule there, and see if you can work that out by not factoring out e to the x, and see if you get the same thing. Again, that's going to be a good way to practice your skills in dealing with lots of negatives, and possible errors. Hope you enjoyed the problem. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.